Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We got a two streak, if you're wondering why we got a two streak. We played as Azazel on Wednesday's NLSS, which was a shit show for technical difficulties, but you can go back and watch the VOD. We were Azazel and we won. It happens. Alright. Eden Seed, let's do this. Dad's Key Polyphemus. Uh... With ceremonial robes in our starting room. There's our seed. I'll show it again. C9 D J S N R. Sorry, nine R. I get nines and Rs confused a little bit, man. I would say that I think I'm a little dyslexic, but I think that kind of like you know makes light of people who actually suffer, and I mean that word in its literal context, suffer from dyslexia. I don't want to make light of the real condition, but I do. I, I confuse letters occasionally. Letters and numbers, alphanumeric, whatnots. Um, I, I don't really want to use blank card because we have Dad's Key. And we started with Polyphemus and a damage upgrade, so it seems like, you know, if we just got rid of Dad's Key to pick up blank card, we're kind of just like throwing a golden gift away. So I will try to make Mega Satan happen on this run. Let's not get too confident here. It's uh, still very early. However, the Polyphemus start is amazing. Dad's Key, uh, I recognize that. The dad's key meta is not a strong part of my game. Let's try to change that here. Let's do, oh man, super bandage. Such a good pickup right off the bat as well. Let's try to remember, you know, dad's key can open up, uh, it can get you out of boss rush. Dad's key saves you keys, which I often forget even while using it, which is very dumb. But uh, it does happen. Can get you into shops, for example. Uh, although I'm not really that worried about that with only one cent. And with our low rate of fire, I'm not really interested in, you know, shooting all the poop. It could be good, but it's also going to take a while. And you know what? I'm not really interested in trying to find a secret room here. There's just too many opportunities. Like, this is a really <laughs> nasty first floor for finding a secret room. I will try to see if I just get lucky there. You know what? If we wanted to, we can give ourselves a pretty good chance of getting an arcade, though. The way that we would do it is we would just dad's key right here. And then blow up this. And you'd expect to probably get four cents. We got two. And then one from the fire. And nothing from the other fire. Uh, but we can actually pop the tower card down in here and take a little bit of damage in the meantime. And now, how do you like me now? We got a decent chance that actually opened up our secret room as well. I am an idiot and thought that that didn't work like that, and that gave us the cancer trinket. All right, the game, it seems like they're being like, all right, we've, we've dealt you some shit hands recently. Here's a slightly better hand for which you can enjoy yourself, and I'm happy to hear that. Let's do it. Curse of the Unknown. Our HP literally could not be less of a concern. This is one of the fastest runs. And we haven't even seen our deal with the devil yet. But it's one of the fastest runs I think that's gone from like... Starting to... I don't want to say winning yet, but possibly winning. Uh, that maybe I've ever seen. I figured I'd try it just to see if the secret room was there. Uh, we'll probably get the opportunity to do that a couple of times. Without uh, risking not being able to get into our shop. So we'll definitely use it here to get into our, our shop and item room, or our item room specifically right here. And that'll give us the D6. Man, they're really trying to tempt us to getting rid of Dad's key, but I'm not gonna die. Not, not gonna do it. This is it. If we can't set a streak for, like, least losses, here's what we'll do instead. There we go. If we can't set a streak for, like, most consecutive wins, we'll instead set a streak for most consecutive Mega Satan kills. <laughs> We'll hold on to Dad's key, we'll only do Angel Rooms, and we'll see how long we can keep the, the Mega Satan streak alive. It's a dangerous game, because you gotta be smart, uh, and you gotta be strong to kill Mega Satan. But man, Super Bandage, Tears Upgrade, Cancer Trinket, Dad's key, good consumables, lots of HP. Like, this is a, an insane start, and I mean that sincerely, an extraordinarily powerful start. Larry Jr. gets, like, super countered by this, because any kill shot that we hit him with is actually going to pass through one structure and, and hit the one behind it. Thereby making it extremely easy for us to get the kill here. Almost like a little miniature piercing shots. That takes us to three red hearts. And no actual deal deals. But two tiers upgrades might actually be better. I also forgot to mention in that uh, kind of inventory of what we've had on this run. It is true indeed that we had... Um, ceremonial robes in our first curse room. Which is an HP plus damage bonus. Pretty stellar thus far. Um, I would like... What was in the shop there? Was it Blue Map? No, it was Fanny Pack. Uh, that's not that meaningful. No secret room located on this area. That's fine. 
Uh, fanny pack, not that amazing for us, but if we could get it, why not? Uh, blue map would have been so much better if we'd actually been able to get that one, because, uh... Then we wouldn't have to use Dad's key over and over to try to figure out where the room is, we would just find the room. But as is right now, I think, you know, with four bombs, we stand a pretty good chance to just find our secret room anyway, even though we don't have a Dad's key charge. It is indeed there. And we'll get two keys, which we can use to open golden chests. People do still try to tell me that Dad's key can open golden chests. It can't. I don't think I'm saying anything contentious there. That being said, it's still really good. That doesn't take away from it. Everything bad about Dad's key is bad because I don't use it properly. It's an item that actually has, beyond Mega Satan, you know, implications, a lot of potential uh, by itself to be really good. So I'm extremely thrilled to have it. And man, except for that Devil deal being not so good, everything else is really, really strong right now, and I'm so thankful for it. Uh, on Wednesday's stream, it sucks that the VOD is going to be so fucked up because of the technical issues that I was having and that Twitch was having. But um, we had Cobalt Streak on to play Rebirth and... Uh, Killing Floor 2 with us, and mm, don't really want to take that. And it was a lot of fun, he, he was a great guest, and I think uh, we'll, we'll try to work out something together for Wednesdays again, because it was a lot of fun. But the seed that he gave us was like the worst Rebirth seed I've ever seen. He didn't, it isn't his fault, he just used like the RNG in the game to determine his seed. But man, it was like an Eden start with Razor Blade, the trinket was Cursed Skull. I can't remember, it was Razor Blade and something not very good. And then Tiny Planet on like the Curse of the Blind item room on the very first floor and then Ipecac showed up later. It was just a god-awful seed. So I'm very happy to have one that seems a little bit simpler right now. Uh, and I'm not gonna complain about it. I'm also not gonna use Dad's key on this room because obviously there's just nothing here um, for us. What do you think? Do you think you can use Dad's key to get out of a mob trap room after you've started fighting it? Let's see if we can learn all the true implications of this item. Uh, I don't really want anything in here, sadly. We can always just Hermit card out if this goes wrong, but like, open it up, grab all the shit, then Dad's key. Nope, does not work. Good to know for the future, I guess. There's something to be said maybe for Sharp Plug, but I don't want to give up two Spirit Hearts to have, uh, you know, Dad's key be active. We have seven keys right now, like, that's looking pretty good. So again, in, with my rudimentary understanding of the intricacies of Devil Deals, I believe that uh, the last floor will not have counted as a Devil Deal, I hope? I shouldn't say I think, I should say I hope, because I'm really not sure. Um, I I would like to pick up like, well, you know, I would be fine with picking up some Angel items as well, like, that could be fun on this run, because we're already doing so well that if we have the chance to pick up Godhead or Sacred Heart, like, if it if it doesn't come to fruition for us, then big deal. Rosary's a, it's a wild one. Um, you either, you either don't take it and you lose that item pedestal, or you take it, you gain three Spirit Hearts, and you lose what could be an important item pedestal later, like, maybe a greater chance of a deal with the Angel or Devil. You can actually find the Bible in those rooms now, uh, being shitty. Or, uh, you know, if you, I, I should say if you have the D6, it's not so, so bad. But in this situation, I was like, well, we might as well take the Rosary, but it's not, uh, it's not particularly good at all. So we got a double dingle fight. I'm gonna try another Dad's Key Theory here. I know I could just look up the mechanics, but where's the fun in that? You know, have some, have some pride, have some self-experimentation. That's what your youth is for. Um, okay. I probably shouldn't be taking two hits against Dingle, even if it is double dingle. We're going to, if we don't get a Devil Deal, pop Dad's key and see if one just opens up for us on this room. Well, okay, we got one. I guess I'll take the range upgrade. And we got Brother Bobby. It's Deal with the Devil Precedent, I'll take it. I know I was talking up uh, the deals with the Angel, but the truth is, like, you can't be guaranteed to get deals with the Angel. I almost wish there was a formal Deal with the Angel Precedent beyond the key pieces. Because I would like to be guaranteed of deals with the angel. It just sucks to take like one deal with the angel item and then the next floor is like there's a deal with the devil and if you take this, you've locked yourself out of angel rooms for the future. Maybe that'll be addressed in the expansion, maybe it won't, maybe it doesn't matter. Uh, it's still a great game. Just a little mild inconvenience that uh, I might like to take care of. Hey! How am I gonna complain? We got Magic Mushroom and a Tears upgrade from a single uh, room there. The magic mushroom pickup is, is just extraordinary, given the context of the run, like... This is like, hey, handsome, uh, professional athlete. 
A relative you don't even know about just died and you were their favorite somehow. Here's another billion dollars. And you're like, oh, okay. I guess I'll go back to fucking my supermodel wife who also is a competitive League of Legends player. I don't know. Like, this is not my dream world. I'm just trying to <laughs> fabricate a, a dream reality that works for everybody. Everybody can find something they like in that one, I hope. What is it? I'm busy winning the Super Bowl for the New York Yankees. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Rodriguez. But your wife was too busy winning LCS to pick up. Okay, fine. Your, your relative, uh, you didn't know. Bill Gates was your second cousin, twice removed. He's just died and he's decided not to give the money to charity. Instead, he decided you deserve it more. Oh, just another day in the life of me. Life's tough. Alright. Not that I'm complaining either, I'm just, you know, in the... You, you have to make that character non-sympathizable. Otherwise, you know, they're gonna be a villain either way. You might as well make them deserve the villainousness. Did I use a key to get into my item room? I probably did. Look, that's that's mindless. Uh, it's it's gonna happen from time to time. Let's try to take advantage of it here. Uh, converter. You know, there's something. There's another tiers upgrade there. There is something to be said for using converter, but I'm not gonna because I really like spirit hearts. I used to think converter was a, a great item that allowed me to be as clever as I wanted to be, but it's it's not really that good. I feel anymore. Unless we had something that generated spirit hearts for us, but even then we might not want it, to be honest with you. And I think we did find our second secret room over here. It's gonna give us a black heart. Um, I mean, we've already gone to the special rooms, but it is in our best interest. Thank you, Dad's key. The pills just don't stop being good. Okay, well that one sucks, but that's okay, because we got a balls of steel to make up for it, but uh... We might as well explore everything. I mean, we're at 1025, and we're on the catacombs too, so we're like three minutes ahead of schedule. Which is pretty ridiculous. I owe that pretty much entirely to Polyphemus, and maybe the health downgrade wasn't bad, because it's gonna allow me to get in here. And, well, I mean... <laughs> we didn't really get a huge benefit for being in here, but, you know, all that being said, it's still nice. I don't think Lemon Party hurts the haunt. And we're gonna, like, one-shot the baby haunts anyway, so... It's not that big of a deal. Now we're looking for, like, I mean, obviously Death's Touch or Brimstone or Mom's Knife or anything like that would be ridiculous. Proptosis would be insane. The technologies would be really good. Anything that gives us cool synergies like that. But I'd really like, as a solid item, BFF would be great as well. I love having my familiars, like, feeling like they can be more a part of the, uh, the action than they normally are. This is a one run, though. The most likely cause of death on this run, and I mean this sincerely, but not in a cocky way. I mean, like, I've done this before. The mo It's not me saying, like, my, my biggest weakness is myself. Maybe, I'll, maybe I'll, have, I'll get sick on game day and fuck it up. No. This one is more like, um, I could accidentally kill myself on a devil deal, maybe, or something like that. And if that happens, well, that, that sucks pretty hard. But, uh, short of that, this run is looking, I wouldn't necessarily say unassailable, but it's looking real good. And it stands to get better. I don't know why we've gotten, like, all these devil deals. Secret room probably wouldn't be here. Um, I'm just gonna check, like... Yeah, we might as well try that. Pick up a little bit of money here. And we're still only at 12 minutes, and we shouldn't be out of this floor until 16. So, we got a huge window here to take advantage of. That did cost us keys. I don't think... Dad's key doesn't open those, man. People have me psyched out. They're like, it's like having Master of Unlocking and, uh, you know, unlimited keys at the same time. And I'm like, ah, I like it. Like, you don't have to sell Dad's key that hard. I know we could take a half spirit art there, but I'm assuming we won't need to. Like, when you oversell something, it gets a little ridiculous. I'm happy to fight Mega Satan, and I understand the key value of it. I don't think it's, like, as bad as Notched Axe or anything like that. And people really get on my butt, and I don't mean that in an insulting way. Sometimes it's a nice butt, depending on whether or not I've been running recently or just sitting on my ass. Um, but they get on my butt about me talking shit about Notched Axe. Yo, Notched Axe is a bad spacebar item if you have any other, well, many other options. I understand the uses of it. 
and I try to use it effectively when it shows up. And if it shows up on the first floor, or I get it on an Eden start or something like that, I'm always happy to get it. I'm like, Notched Axe, you know, it's not as good as a Polyphemus start, but it, it can open up crawl spaces for us, allow us to access Tinted Rocks you might not otherwise be able to get to, etc, etc. Don't try to sell it like I don't like Notched Axe, but, you know, yeah, of course, if, like, uh... If Krampus's head even shows up, or Guppy's head, or something like that, or Tammy's head, any head-related item, um, even Abel, <laughs> I'll be like, okay, goodbye, Notched Axe, uh, it's been fun, but it's time to move on. Not very smart damage, but we do have Spirit Hearts just awaiting us later on this floor, so it's not a huge problem, uh, including right here. Not our second secret room, kind of a big surprise to me. Double Peep is not that bad. Kind of a big floor, but uh, the odds of us not being out of here by 16.30 in time to get to Boss Rush, and people are always telling me, Dad's Key can take you out of Boss Rush. I've never done it or even seen it myself, but I do believe that. So we're going to try to use it, and maybe I won't fuck it up. Man, do we? I don't understand. Maybe Ceremonial Robes is allowing us to get all these devil deals. I don't understand why it would, but <laughs> it's, it's all good either way. And the Devil Deals have not been spectacular thus far. A bunch of uh, red chests and then Sister Maggie and Brother Bobby. All that being said, we've only traded two red hearts for them. And uh, we've been getting them, which is more than you would normally expect anyway. So let's see if we can peg where our second secret room would be and use Dad's key thusly. It's not going to be over here. Uh, it could be adjacent to the shop, which would actually be, like, adjacent across the, the room to the shop, which would be great, because I'm going to use Dad's key here anyway, even though we have a golden key. Wait, it doesn't really matter. No, didn't uh, find the second secret room there, that's alright. We'll buy the Bible, so we never have to see it again, and we've made a colossal mistake. Colossal relative to the quality of our run, which is that we should have bought Steam Sale before buying uh, the Bible. It's not going to make a huge difference, but it, it could make a difference. Maybe we won't be able to buy something that we wanted to buy on the next floor as a result of that, but we already have 11 cents, so that's pretty unlikely. Plus, we're probably going to fight greed. So we're at 1510. We've been taking our sweet time on this floor. And we can afford to. We had a luck upgrade and a luck downgrade. You know, you take the good with the bad. Of course, you know, use a golden key to open this door, because why not, right? We'll, uh, come up here. Big fan. I'm happy to have it. Uh, makes BFF a great pickup again if we can get it on the next floor. I'm skeptical, but it can happen. Forgive me, but I'm not going to go back and pick up that spirit art just to save a little bit of time. I'm just the slightest bit worried that we're not going to be able to get the boss rush in time. And with Dad's key, you can't even hate on me for this. With Dad's key... You gotta take every advantage that you can get with it. I gave up the blank card, and I gave up the D6. So, of course, we're gonna take every available opportunity to dad's key the shit out of this run. Alright, so that, I think we're at 2 HP, so that should allow us to get into the boss trap room. We still got a 30 second window here until I would even start to get the slightest bit nervous. Yeah, don't stand next to <laughs> Loki there. Okay, we gotta bait him into doing... His attack, like his laser attack. There we go. And then Big Fan bodies the shit out of him. Took a little more damage than I'm happy with uh, over the last two floors, actually, by probably playing too aggressively, but not an enormous problem. And that was just terrible. Not an enormous problem yet, I should say. Things, things can change. And routinely do. Yeah, two hits on each of these guys, one hit maybe on the, the champions, especially with some familiar support. Good stuff, we'll go back for that pill, do we know what it is? It is luck up, yeah, that's uh, gonna be one of the most valuable pills for us moving forward, so we should definitely take advantage of that. Well, probably botched that one a little bit. I thought maybe we'd find a secret room. Most important thing is that we gotta keep Dad's key for the uh, boss room. Actually, getting a 9-volt so we could use Dad's key once per room would be really nice as well. It seems like that wouldn't be that effective, but it would guarantee us secret rooms and second secret rooms if we were just able to use Dad's key on every room. And I'm hoping for, like, a good deal with the devil. 
Thought we'd give it a shot there. I'm hoping for a good deal with the devil. Um, we still have not had one of those. I'm not complaining because we... Oh, jeez. Ah, I thought we were going to get out of it. We did start with Polyphemus. And then... Oh, I think we got second or first secret rune there. We did start with Polyphemus, then pick up Magic Mushroom, Super Bandage, Ceremonial Robes, etc., etc. However, uh, at the same time, why not add a little bit more on top of that? What the heck hit me there? Was it actually... It was probably a shot from the fire that came out so fast that I didn't see it hit me. Which is not an excuse, but is rather my way of being like, okay, at least I wasn't stupid enough to just walk into the fire. Save Lemon Party for the mom boss fight. Save your drama for mama. Yeah, come on over, come on over, baby. Get them into that choke point and ruin their day. Still no shop, still no item room. I wouldn't necessarily... You know what? Yeah. I wouldn't necessarily say I'm concerned about time, but I would like to... I'd like to get a move on a little bit. We only... We want to be in that mom fight with about, uh, you know, at least 30 seconds to go. So we got another minute to explore here. And there's our, uh, there's our item room. I don't mind using a key for that. Uh, we didn't need to, but I guess I don't mind. <laughs> and there's our shop, so that's perfect. Not a greed fight. Um, we'll take blue map. We'll take this. Uh, I, I mean, Pandora's box, what does it give us here? It gives us like four spirit hearts. I'd rather give that money to our donation machine just to keep us buffed up. We've been pretty bad about our donation machine lately. All right, 477, it is what it is. Could be better, could be worse. No time. <laughs> as much as I would like to, uh, we really gotta get a move on here. I think it'll be relatively fast to beat Mom with Lemon Party and Big Fan. Gotta be faster. This is a shortcut we can take for one bomb. We're going to be in there like one second later than I wanted to be. Please don't come back to bite me in the ass. Very good start. Very, very good start. That did damage, but it will also kill Mom faster as a result of the black card. Oh, we got no problems. Okay. No devil deal. Take the Polaroid. Pick up an item. And here, I... Pfft, spectral Tears, I guess. And then we get out of Boss Rush, and it totally does work. I apologize for uh, not learning about that sooner. That would have been a very useful tidbit of advice. So blue map gives us a little bit of a, a little bit of knowledge. Such a stupid bit of damage there. I just couldn't see the creep very well. Uh, gives us a little bit of knowledge about um, where we should use dad's key and also probably like which direction to go in. So we're just gonna. Kind of use dad's key on the secret rooms, obviously, and then hope that Curse of the Blind doesn't come back to fuck us too hard on this floor. We'll have a, uh... Oh. Ah. Losing a little bit more HP than I'd like to admit, but we are on permanent Polaroid invincibility, at least. And there is a Tinted Rock. That's gotta be Small Rock. Huge help. Lock up's good. I found pills we'll take. Balls of Steel is great. Health down. Sucks pretty bad. There's a potential use for it, but I'm just gonna go with the guarantee in Balls of Steel. And we'll take Small Rock with us. This is very nice. Alright, Skolex, followed by what I would expect to be a deal with the devil. We can use Balls of Steel here now. And if we lose our HP, we could use an HP upgrade, but I might rather just be on Spirit Hearts to have uh, permanent Polaroid invincibility. Two more hits, I'd imagine. Yeah, one more familiar hit, maybe even. Kind of a tanky Skolex, all things considered. There we go. Uh, toothpicks is a good pickup. We ruined permanent Polaroid invincibility. And picked up Necronomicon, which is real bad. Dad's key it is. <laughs> Hopefully we get some good stuff on the chest. Right. That was a much smarter play there. Ah, Guppy's head. I mean... We're not going to take it, and this is the first Guppy item we've gotten, which is very surprising, but there it is. Hoping we can maybe bypass some of these huge rooms. The momentum that we started with on this run has fallen by the wayside a little bit. 
I still think it'll be enough to more than carry us through. But it'd be nice if, uh, you know, another one more like ball busting item to give us the win would be pretty sweet. That's like, I think that's I found pills. That's lemon party. Uh, that's substantially better. I would, I've got to admit, in my brain, I was like, oh, it'd be sweet to get two guppy items right now. And it would have been. This has been a weird run, man. Like, we haven't seen any curse rooms outside of the first floor, I think. And I've been looking through every floor. And we haven't fought Krampus. Unless I've just completely blocked it out of my memory. I think Lemon Party beats the, uh, the devil card for real. Except on flying enemies. Well, most flying enemies, at least. But it does so much damage against a boss like Isaac. Who is probably who I'm going to use it against. Oh, there was still creep there? Very sloppy play. Those are the kind of sloppy plays that don't matter once, twice a run. But, you know, they add up over time. And it's... it's com Well, there's a curse room. It's completely conceivable that we could actually, like, get a loss out of this. Oh, my God. Just by walking on creep. Don't be an idiot about it. This is a, a losable run still. Don't let hubris, like, dominate the discourse here. Two black hearts. That's actually very helpful. If we're not going to become guppy and we're not going to get an item, that's pretty much, you know, one of the best, uh, one of the best, uh, permutations for that room that we could hope to get. No curse room, but, uh, really easy chain reaction with Polyphemus. Helps out. Ah, uh, we should go back here. A lot of red hearts. That's, uh, Dark Bum's time to shine. Figure we might as well use High Priestess once. Watch out for the freaking creep. I swear to God, I can't afford to take any more damage due to that sticky stuff. Alright. We'll be heading on to the Cathedral after this. And, you know, I think we have a fantastic chance of making it through the Cathedral. I think we have a fantastic, fantastic chance of making it through the chest as well. As long as I don't throw super, super hard. We don't even need good items, and that's a nice luxury. A lot of times, you're like, oh, get to the chest, we'll get good items, and then we'll be fine. You know, it's your last chance effort, basically. In this situation, we've already got the great items. All we need to do is not be an asshole slash idiot. Now, we can't see where we're going. I find it funny that I've started playing the game in full screen here. And I, normally, I play in 640 by 360, which is, like, <laughs> slightly better than your phone's. Windows or screen size, probably. Um, and I actually, I'm finding right now there's an adjustment period, and I find myself seeing the game worse. It's just, it's weird, man. I don't think that it is worse. I think it's just taking me a while to set it up. You know, it's like when I was a kid, and you'd set the resolution on your computer. And when you set the resolution at, like, you know, well, you could, uh, you wouldn't use 640 by 360, but... Whatever, like 640 by 480, you'd be like, why would I use anything but 640 by 480? It makes the icons so much bigger. And then now you're like, if you try to play a game in, in 480p, it looks like straight up trash. Most of the time, unless it's designed to kind of scale at that level. It's funny how times change. I remember beginning arguments. Computer teacher would be like, you know, you should really like up the resolution to be a little higher. I'd be like, it makes everything smaller. Why would I do that? Don't be stupid. I didn't actually... I treated my teachers with respect. However, that was what I was thinking in my brain. It's not what I said with my mouth, but it's what I was thinking with my brain. It's like, this guy's teaching computers class. He doesn't even know that bigger icons are better icons. Shake my damn head. We didn't have SMDH back then. We barely had WTF or LOL. All right, yeah, bait the shit out of him. Big fan. You're my hero. You're everything I would like to be. You can fly higher than an eagle. Well, not really. You're the wind beneath my wings regardless of that. See you in hell, double. Not interested in fighting double hot. Not that I think it's going to be hard, but I think there's a chance for us to take damage, so why not just say fuck you to that room? Does that work on the chest? Oh, if we can skip some rooms on the chest that are annoying, that would be majestic. Sweet. Um, I'm hoping that this is our secret room. It's unlikely. It is not even possible anymore. I'm still going to check it. I like it if we get Lump of Coal. 
Otherwise, it, it's not bad necessarily, but kind of unfortunate. Yeah, the two spirit hearts basically for Lump of Coal bare minimum is fine. And we actually traded no spirit hearts for Lump of Coal, which is amazing. With Polyphemus, I think this is a nice touch. Polyphemus, Magic Mushroom, etc, etc. Oh my god, that was totally on me. But I'm still very mad about the damage that I took there. Because I should have been able to dodge it. But I was like, I'm going to be safe here. And I was unsafe by like a pixel. Stay away. Good stuff. Kind of a long floor here, but a very short run relative to a lot of the runs we've had lately. I mean, this is like uh, our average time to be fighting Mom at this point. So, recently at least. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Stop or my mom will shoot. Joker. Yeah, um, we'll use Lemon Party to the boss, then Joker on the next floor. Kind of want to play that Judgment. I think we can get away with it. Getting a little bit better uh, at high speed walking through those diagonal spikes. It helps. You know, you don't want to shy away from stuff like this. We got one HP back. So even if we got hit, it, it possibly would have been worth it. Ah, shit. I got him. I, I fought this guy, like, super out of order. Relative to how you would like to. But, hey, we got it done in, like, one cycle anyway. HP I can't use. This is a little bit better, theoretically. Oh, and then I took damage, so fuck me. Okay, let's not use Big Fan offensively. It's just a recipe for getting your ass kicked here. This is going to be our death fight. Throwing down some bombs, mostly just to clear the arena out. Make my life simpler. Oh, that was super easy. The Empress card. I still think Lemon Party wins here, but we gotta go back for the Joker. Such awful, awful damage. I'm lo Oh, shit. Stop getting hit. I'm losing just a little bit too much. I think we're gonna fight Mega Satan right away. And hopefully we get some half-decent items in the process. Uh, otherwise, you know, we literally might have just too little HP to succeed here, but... We'll see what our Joker gives us as well. We have one Guppy item. We'll see what curse we have. Our luck stat is good enough to maybe farm up a little bit, but I don't know. We'll see. That was it. I, I shouldn't have been hit as much as I was there, but it's not the end of the world yet. But it's clear to me now that like this awkward position I find myself in now is the result basically of uh, all the stupid damage that I've taken leading up to this point. I have to start playing better fundamentally. Start focusing on the dodging again, not like a high order strategies necessarily. Curse of the Lost uh, makes it harder to find our boss for sure. So technology one, that should give us crazy rate of fire and crazy damage now, or you know, decent rate of fire. Blue Baby's only friend can be good. No BFF, but that's okay. Um, we use Book of Revelations, of course. We'll use our Joker card. We get Rotten Baby. We can't justify Guppy's Collar, probably. Um, I say we give it a try here. If we die, we die, but I think we got a pretty good chance of making it out of this. So the trick is, like, Blue Baby's only friend here. Oh, uh, it won't do damage when it's that far back. That's so shitty. It's pretty simple. Um, oh my god, that was so dumb of me. It's pretty simple, just, like, keep firing straight ahead. This is not as much damage as I thought it would be. Oh my god, I lost another black heart. Oh, this is not looking good. This one, it's not going to be Mega Satan's fault if we lose this one. It's going to be my fault, for sure. I would have lost this one against Blue Baby by virtue of having to fight so many rooms. And we're not doing well at all here. No infamy to save us. We're not doing nearly as much damage as I thought we would be doing here. I don't know I don't know what to blame. I don't think technology ruined it. Like that damage is still real good. And our flies from Rotten Baby are gonna help. Thank god I didn't take uh, Guppy's collar. Although I would get a respawn, but is that really worth anything? I got very, very, very lucky, and then immediately fucked it up, and we're oh, so close to death. Can I dad's key out of this fight? I think I'm gonna die. I was so cocky on this run. It is a catastrophic failure, as far as I'm concerned. We're not totally dead yet, though. 
Maybe I've been playing too much Nuclear Throne. It's been cutting into my Isaac dodges. Okay, the Angel Statues are real dangerous. No! God damn it! Oh, old Northern Lion, how did you do it? How did you do it? Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I gotta go find like my Isaac Sensei in a cave deep within some Japanese mountain ranges and relearn how to play this fucking game, apparently. I appreciate the support in the series as I go through this incredible slump and I'm I'm gonna do everything in my damn power to come out on the other side. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye!